Hi ladies, this is Jules. I am doing my newbie segment today and wanted to uh, do just a couple of things if I can real quick. Um, I wanted to do, um, well, answer a question that I've heard a few ladies already mention out there about diamond dust. Um, now diamond dust is these uh, little glass fragments, what is that? These little glass fragments like uh, shards, very fine um, shards of glass. What I want to do today for the newbie segment is to introduce the diamond dust to some of you guys um, that don't know exactly what it is, but have heard it here and there. Um, and then how to use it. A lot of us have been using it for flowers, and one of the ways that you can use it is, um, or how to apply it to your flowers is this way. Um, you can either scoop it directly from your jar onto your project or dip your project directly into the jar. Depending on the size for me, um, I have typically just grabbed my flower, put the, the glue on it, and I would dip it just sitting um, right on top of the, the surface of where this starts. So what I um, have done is like get my project and I dip the glue all, you know, wherever, the little spots that I want it at using my tweezers and dip it upside down and then shake it off. Sometimes it gets everywhere. Uh, sometimes people uh, get a spoon or directly shake it onto the project in a dish or something like that, which you can also do. Um, if you can get messy like I do, you can use, like, um, we use these for, like, embossing powders. Um, and then, of course, for storage and then in our kitchen for food or whatever else. This is a Rubbermaid um, tub. It's a 669 mill milliliter container, 2.9 cups. Um, but I'm going to show you guys, you can do it also this way. So if you have a new jar, you can um, throw some of it in here in your, actually I'll just do that now. You can do the whole jar if you want. And I did this with my UT. I poured about half of my bottle of UT in one of these um, and then I just used my, I dip my projects in the con in this container here, so you can either dip it directly on there, depending on the size of the flower. Like if it's if it is like this size, which it's like pretty small, I would just dip it in there, shake it off in there, and be done. If you're using a different flower, a bigger flower, um, what I've done is grab a um, one of my large uh, primas. Now this one's a lot bigger compared to the other um, orange one. See there, and to dip it in this jar would be pretty pretty big and it can get messy and you might not be able to fit the whole thing. So the easiest way would be to put it in a container like this. And I use glossy accents. Some people say that glossy accents don't doesn't work as well and didn't know what glue to use. Maybe you're not putting enough or putting too much, I don't know. But I don't have a problem at all with getting my glue, my glossy accents on my flowers to um, apply the diamond dust. I'm just doing that real quick. So for the big one here, um, we can do either just the tips. I'm just going to do a little, a cup, like an al alternate my petals um, and do a little bit squiggly here and there. Oops, didn't I say I was going to alternate? Yeah, and I didn't even listen to myself. I can't tell you exactly how much to put. Um, it's not really measured like that, I guess. You just apply it scattered throughout your petals. So actually, I'm just going to scatter a little bit on the ones that I didn't get any glossy accents on. So instead of alternating the petals, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on all of them. Since I already messed that up and put it on there. Okay, so I do like to get the tips because I think, I don't know, to me it just looks better, but it's just me your preference. You know, after you use it for a while, you kind of do what you like. Again, you kind of tell you, you let your eyes tell you what looks good. So, okay, I have applied my glossy accents to all the little spots there. I don't know if you can see all the little spots of glossy accents. I'm trying to do my best to show you. There's some there, okay? So, just dip it. Now, you can do that if you want. And I, I should have grabbed my spoon. We're just going to cheat a little bit. 
You can pour it in like this, where it's going to just catch it in the bowl anyways. Or use a spoon and just scoop it on top from this container. However, there's no rules really, but I'm just showing you what can be an easy way to do it. I did get them in the tips, so I want to make sure that the tips get stuck or sunk in there and stuck. I do want to make sure that the tips get sunk in there. And once you, um, you know, pretty much get the idea that it's already, that, that the diamond dust is applied, you just, you do want to take the excess off. And you do have to be careful if you have kids in your room, in your craft room or craft area, don't let them play with that. That's bad stuff for them. Okay. So you can see a little bit of the glistening here, the um, the shine, shimmer, sparkle. That's the word I'm looking for. I didn't apply a whole lot, but you can if you want to. And if you want to do like more in the center, add more, stick it back in there. It's not going to hurt anything. So you apply it that way and let it dry. Because the glossy accents is not a quick drying adhesive. So I'm going to apply this to all of the ridges or the rims of the petals. I feel like at this particular moment I am probably putting a little bit too much, but um, it's just for the sake of the demonstration and the video. Okay, so I've got glue on all of the petals and for the di for direct in the tub kind of, in the, of demonstration we're going to do it with this flower. Because the flower is small enough, no big deal. I'm just looking to see if it's got coverage. Okay, I guess to me I think I do. Okay, I'll take a picture for the end of the video. I guess I couldn't fit two things in here. I'll do another one. Uh, I'm going to do an embossing one later on, so you guys stay tuned for that. If you're a newbie and you're not sure about embossing, I'm going to try and, and add all the information that I know on embossing um, to my next video. And I'll probably try and do it this week because I have missed a couple of weeks already, so I apologize deeply for that. So there is your diamond dusted flowers. I'll set it down, let it dry. And you can either kind of set this up in a cabinet so you don't have to mess with it and then put this one with your um, with your uh, other stuff. Make sure that you label label them. I'm going to, on the UT one, I just wrote U-T-E-E -E on there, but I'm going to put um, D-D on here for the diamond dust. Although I think I could tell the difference, but yeah. So you let it dry and let your, um, once they dry for a couple of hours, then you're, they're ready to use. All right, guys, talk to you later. This is Jewel signing out from the Jewel box and with your newbie segment here. Um, see you at the next one. Bye.